actually go to any of the events. I'm sure uh, he would have qualified. Events. Yeah. He just he, didn't go to any of the events. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he never went to any of the Midwest Mayhem 2, Hidden Bosses 2. He, was he wasn't able, he wasn't eligible for Hidden Bosses 2 or Midwest Mayhem 3, so. Uh, this is Pan against Big Mac. Pan against Big Mac. This is a long, this is a, this is a matchup with a long history in the Chicago scene. Uh, both of these guys coming from the city of Chicago. Both of them regulars at, uh, at Ignite. Yeah, and uh, the city tournaments. So uh, interesting to see how this will turn out. Panda Bear is basically the, the big name villager in Chicago. Basically the only rep here. Num uh, rank number 13 on uh, last season's PR. Uh, but Big Mac, also the, uh, a one of the Sheik main. best Sheiks in here, in, uh, here in Chicago. Yeah, still keeping him after the. All right, well, that's happening. D turn, please. I'm good. All right, I'm gonna be clocking out because I'm hungry. All right, and we're gonna have anonymous Moo Moo Maker hey, how's taking it over. Uh, moniker. Hey, it's going pretty good. All right. So uh, right now we're looking at Panda Bear and Big Mac, two big city players. Panda Bear ranked number 13 on the Chicago PR. Oh, yeah. Qualified by the second chance bracket because he actually did <laughs> not attend any of the qualifiers. Oh, that's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Big Mac, one of the resident Sheik mains in Chicago, I believe top 10. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is, this is a matchup with a long history in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Um, especially at Ignite. I think that Big Mac, I think this is actually even. Is it but, really? Yeah, but um, I think recently Big Mac can. Yeah, Panda Bear is a very good player. He's most notable probably for making so many upsets on JJ. Yeah, that was one of the first things that made him, like I guess, break through in Chicago City. Yeah, he's definitely our best villager here. If, if you don't know the villager matchup, he's just going to run all over you. Yeah, so, but this, uh, a lot of people say this is being an even or a Sheik favorite matchup. Yeah, we, because we, Sheik has a lot of tools to get in. And, ooh. Yeah. This, this is a matchup we've seen a lot at the top level with Renai and Zero. Right, yeah. And, like, Void, too. So, pretty well explored. Strong, uh, characters, but, um, they're playing right now doing a very good job of just playing safe and not getting hit by these aerials. Yeah, I feel like villagers' aerials just do so much more damage. Yeah, and, and you kind of just, if you get hit by one, you get caught in more. Yeah, like... Oh, that's not too much, but... Sheik definitely has a better punish game and the ability to chain hits together more, but right. you're going to need to hit, like, at least two hits to make up for one of villagers. Yeah, and uh, Sheik is also one of the characters that can edge guard uh, villager, actually. Yeah, his recovery goes. In Whoa! Oh, okay. Big Mac getting a little bit too impatient right there, dropping the shield. Yeah, you got to be careful around that tree, definitely. Yep. There's a down throw. Uh, yeah, Ooh, there it Lloyd is. saved him. That's the thing with the Lloyd rocket in this match. Um, it's actually you can get out of a lot of bouncing fish in the air and stuff like that. So she has to respect that, which kind of hinders her offstage game a little bit. Oh yeah. Um, and now we're gonna see Big Mac struggling to get the kill as all yeah. Sheiks do in this match. It's actually pretty rough. Oh, that would have killed Big Mac. Oh, forward air gets him. Oh, forward air. Good yep. job by uh, Big Mac, just kind of going deep because he can't keep him. Right. He's staying there. Taking what he can get. All right, so looking about even right now. Oh yeah, it's basically gonna, gonna come down to whoever gets the last kind of cool kill confirm. Pretty much, yeah, because both of these characters are really good at attacking on damage. The Witcher is slightly better at killing, but she can no slash either. Yeah, and if Pen Bear gets off stage without a jump, I, it would not surprise me to see Big Mac just repeatedly edge guard him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the things, because... Villager's recovery goes really far, right, but it has no hitbox, no hit so, so you just need to throw something out there to knock him back off stage. Yep. And just keep doing it till it kills. And Sheik has a lot of moves like that that can vanish. You have Nair, which is long-lasting. You have recovery, but yeah, we'll see how 
this turns out here. Yeah, this is really anyone's game, but I would say Panda Bear. Definitely had an advantage. Yeah, Panda Bear taking the lead right now. Ooh, try to go for the jump break. Right? Yeah, that was some smart zone. Oh, and oh. the back throw. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think Great. that was his first grab of the set. Uh-huh. Yeah, Panda Bear will do that to, uh, to you. He'll condition you, and then he'll get that one grab and back throw you at, uh, at the edge, and then you're dead. Yep, because Villager's grab is incredibly slow. But... It's very. It has a very strong back throw. So. Yep, and it's a pretty big can... grab too. Like it's yeah. that this big butterfly that just comes down. Yeah, it's got big. It's got a lot of range. So, it's definitely something you can't sleep on. Yeah, you can't use it like a normal grab, but it is still a strong tool if you can use it properly. Exactly. Yeah. So Panda taking the first game, we're getting the run back to Smashville. Yeah, I feel like this is a good decision for Big Mac. Smashville's just kind of Sheik's best in the stage. Ooh. Other down than maybe Duck Hunt. I think he's a. Uh, I think Big Mac's just trying to just wait it out. Yeah. So Panda Bear mounting an early lead. Whoa, those jab and the edge canceled them too. That's the thing about um yeah. <laughs> that was such smart pressure. Yeah, uh the thing is uh there's not uh something Whoa. Me, there's not much that many players can do about the jab, they kinda have to respect it. Oh, nice using the throw armor to block the Lloyd rocket. Yeah. Am I catching that uh let's Panda Bear likes to do that a lot. He likes to jump off the ledge and forward it. It's safe. Not much you can do unless you get a read. Yep, there's also the Panda Bear, which involves dropping, wall jumping, and using bear. Yep, that's the Panda Bear. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good move. You know how he rides it? Like, look at this Panda Express. <laughs> nice. Oh, and now Big Mac has brought it back. That's one thing about uh, the Void Rocket um, this matchup. It can actually nullify Sheik's skills to an extent, so oh, yeah. it uh, makes me... Oh, oh, triple turn You saw that right there. The the up air and the down air, they can go through the stage, which, if you're not ready for it, can catch you off guard and you can kill you sometimes if you get the three turn ups. So. Yeah, but those turn ups are random. Mm -hmm. like, you don't know if you're going to get the one which combos, the three which kills, or the two which does both, I guess, sort of. I don't know. Yeah, it's... Kind of random, so you kind of have to rely on luck. But Panda Bear hitting the strong hitbox and taking the first stock. Oh! I can see he missed timer right there. Yeah, he almost got it, but was a little too jumpy. Oh, oh. almost getting the grenade kill. Yeah. If he was a little higher. Jump bear. Oh, and he's off stage without a jump. Hit guard, no. But, oh, this could be risky. Yep. And going under the stage is an option for Villager. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that decision from Big Mac because that is the uh, stage control. Yeah, no Big Mac is. Ooh, really gliding, having trouble killing. Gliding Vanish. Yeah, he's kind of... That could have been a four tilt. Oh, oh. Oh, that All guy right, take misses the tech zone. Tech zone. zone, so... Pan, uh, Big Mac looking at 75% last time. And Sheik is very light, so I think Panda Bear does... Like, that bowling ball will kill here. Yeah, but on the flip side, Sheik is also very good at wrecking up Panda. Yep, so. and if he gets one good edge guard, like mm -hmm. that could be it. So. Not as easy on Villager as say Rosalina, but it's not done yet. It is possible, it, or a dare spike might work if you get a deep off stage. Because yeah. as soon as you see those balloons, you know Villager can't really do anything. Yeah, I, what I kind of want to see is maybe Big Mac reading that forward to get up and doing a downer off of that. Potentially, I don't think a spike from stage height will do it. But if you can if get, you him get him to recover low, percent, yeah. Yeah, if you can get him to recover low, I feel like if you're doing it real low, Smashville does have a high floor. Yeah. That's smart right there. It covers above the ledge. What Panda Bear likes, I like to do a lot of times. Oh, back oh, throw. Oh, there it is. Back throw taking it out. And Panda Bear. Okay, and Panda with Bear the with the pop-off. <laughs> Panda Bear's known for his pop-offs. He popped the way off. And Panda Bear 2-0-ing Big Mac. A winner's round two. Yeah, that was very good play from Big, uh, Big yeah. Mac and uh, Panda, Panda Bear. Bear, both of them. Super strong play.